Today's video, I wanted to not only do a house tour, but we are actually doing a home inspection. And for those people thinking of moving to this area, I just wanted to go through the house and give you some examples, some things that the home inspector is going to look out for, some of the things that you have to be aware of. So this video is really going to give you a good idea of what to expect uh, when you have your home uh, inspected, what they're going to be looking for. Uh, there's a lot of different things. I had, I just sold a home uh, from somebody from the East Coast and they were asking about radon we really just don't have to deal with that here or we don't have inspections I'm sure you could do it but it's just not very common one of the common things that we do have in Southern California is termites and I'll go through the house and give you an idea of where they often find them and what you have to do uh, so yeah let's get into the video it's a this is an absolutely beautiful home it's I think around 3300 square feet uh, pool home uh, very quiet street cul-de-sac uh, and yeah so let's go check it out so I do like this house it's not very common but they have the third car garage separate uh, a lot of times what I see in these homes that have the separate garage that's sort of just their junk storage and then they keep the cars in the two car garage. For the roof tiles now uh, the inspector either ha gets on the roof or uh, at the very least uh, has a drone that he flies over and makes sure that there are no tiles that have slipped or cracked. So the most common things that I see with these types of homes are obviously tiles are cracked, slipped, or the vent piping. There's a sort of a material that wraps around it's like a plastic or a mortar uh, oftentimes that wears down because of the sun hey guys so very common here i'm looking at the garage this wet weather stripping often gets just beat up by the sun so you will see that and it's very uh, you know in older homes uh, you'll have to replace that now if you want an additional roof inspection absolutely you can do that it costs around 350 to 500 dollars i get this question a lot a lot of homes or most of the homes in southern california do not have rain gutters so there is definitely staining on the bottom let's say two to three feet of the stucco it's there's nothing wrong with it uh, and don't worry about it that is just because the rain is falling straight off the roof hitting the concrete or hitting the dirt and actually this house is pretty good uh, not too much staining but again don't worry about it and most homes that you're going to see are going to have that staining just because there are no rain gutters here is the kitchen and in regards to the home inspector uh, they're going to go around and first off he's going to run the dishwasher he's going to run all the sinks throughout the house and make sure they're draining properly he's going to run all the appliances turn on all the lights and he has this device that you can plug into each one of the outlets just to make sure there's power to everything and it's very custom customary just so you are aware the microwave usually stays with the house the stove stays with the house the dishwasher stays with the house you do have to oftentimes negotiate for the refrigerator. Sometimes they will leave them. Washer and dryer probably 90% of the time does not stay. So we are downstairs. This is actually a positive and a lot of people are starting to look for this is uh, in a two story home having a bedroom downstairs. And this one has a full bathroom, as you can see, and a bedroom. Again, with kids moving back home or parents moving or vacationing, uh, this has become very, very popular in homes and a want for many buyers. All homes in California need smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors on each level. Okay guys, so in regards to the AC unit, a lot of bigger homes in Southern California have two systems, one for the upstairs and downstairs. The inspector is going to check the model numbers uh, and basically give you an idea of how old they are and if they have had any recalls on these spe uh, specific uh, models. Okay guys, so next up is the backyard. I uh, wanted to show you, this is very common in Southern, they're called aluma wood patios. And they're basically an alum, aluminum. And yes, you do see wood patios, but personally, because of the termites and because of the longevity of these, I would go with this. And they're very inexpensive for what they are. Uh, if you can see here, 
looks like it looks like wood but it's not uh, and you will not have any termite problems with these so and they last forever this would be my suggestion if you have a house without a patio cover this is what I would do and they can customize them they have lights they have uh, fans anything that you really want to do different designs uh, you just ask them what you or tell them what you want and they can do that okay so next up I'm gonna do the pool and I would say the biggest thing and I just had something fall out of escrow uh, inspector found a lot of cracks in the pool uh, that would be a number one thing if there's settling if there's cracks along the edges uh, sometimes uh, trees are planted close to the pool and depending on what the tree the roots can start pushing up on the uh, the cement those I would say out of everything uh, you know those are the things that you really need to be concerned about so again all the bathrooms uh, and all the sinks are going to be turned on the toilets will be flushed these will be flushed or sorry the uh, showers will be turned on and he's going to check the actual water pressure right at the valve um, so you know that you have proper uh, water pressure coming into the house and it's not too high okay I wanted to talk we're upstairs now in the master I just wanted to talk about the floors a lot of people are choosing those gray light gray floors uh, really it's a more modern look and makes the home bright but these floors they picked are absolutely awesome I love these floors the house is really bright really I mean it really does go well with the home so yeah just a tip check the check the colors of these floors um, they really turned out nice okay so here is the attic uh, the inspector will go up there a lot of times the furnace is up in the attic and they're just gonna check the duct work they're gonna check the furnace again they're going to get the model number making sure that there are no recalls on it uh, making sure the insulation is proper uh, there's a lot of things that are going to be checked in the attic also the termite person is going to go in the attic because a lot of times if they find droppings up in the attic uh, they're going to need to spray their whatever material it is uh, to get rid of the termites so a lot of people in southern california they get whole house fans uh, they're what they are uh, basically what happens is at night it really does cool down in this area so you turn on the whole house fan you open a window a crack and it basically sucks the cool air from the outside into the house and brings the warm air up to the attic so you're using your AC less and of course it's going to save you some money and again because it gets down to many nights you know into the low 60s it really does work to cool off the house uh, so you don't have to turn your air on at night before going to bed or during the night okay so now we're in the garage I would say the most common thing that I see uh, the inspector calling out is the safety feature that if you basically are under the garage door, it does not stop. Uh, in California, Southern California, the irrigation system is often in the garage. And then you're also going to have two, uh, two different types of water heaters. You're going to have a tankless water heater. Uh, on the newer homes and obviously this is just a regular standard tank water heater and there are different gallons uh, in regards to like how much water these hold uh, I don't know whether the tankless is that much better than the tank water heaters that would be something that you would have to ask a professional but those are the two types of water heaters you're going to see in homes